next stage in developing the SME field is the interference test. This is designed to investigate how well connected the S400 series reservoir SANs really are. It is particularly important in determining the best orientation and spacing of the oil production and water injector wells. Injector wells are drilled down dip from the producers and are designed to maintain reservoir pressure during the production phase. Pressure gauges have been installed in the wells around the SNE 6 location. The view you're looking at now is the SNE field. I'm going to rotate this anti clockwise. So, north is now on the, the left, and then I'm going to look at a 3D image of the top of the reservoir section. Alright, we're now looking down on the reservoir in a 3D rendered image. I'm now going to strip back some of these layers so you can see the detail of the reservoir units. We're now going to focus in on the SNE 6 and 5 location. And we'll, back, and we'll now blow this up so you can see that detail. And we'll focus in on the S480 in particular. That's the unit we're going to test. Now when the well is perforated and begins to flow, oil close to the well will enter the well bore and flow towards the surface. As the oil moves towards and into the well, it causes a reduction in pressure in the reservoir. This reduction in pressure increases as the well continues to flow. This creates a pressure pulse, which moves radially away from the well. Surrounding wells will be constantly monitored to detect the arrival and the magnitude of the pulse. Because the SNE field contains approximately 3 to 5 billion barrels in place, the pressure pulse create, created by production of only several thousand barrels during a DST will only affect a small area. Connections between individual sand units are also likely to be complex and varied, so the process of interpreting the pressure responses in the offset wells will occur over several months as the reservoir engineers analyse the data. Efficient development of the SNE field will maximise value to shareholders, so this critical part of the program has to be carried out rigorously. FAR and its partners will carry out this analysis as quickly as we can, but we can only release data once all the technical work has been completed.